Hey everybody, T.O. from Mark Geek Teaching. Hey, today um, we are going to just do an accordion fold booklet out of um, a small jelly paper collage landscape that I put together. And so the first thing I'm doing here, I just took a, a cut off from some watercolor paper. This is pretty heavy paper. I think it's 300 GSM. Um, and so, you know, I usually don't like to throw that stuff away. It was, it was very long rectangular piece. So first thing I did was got a ruler out, um, folded it with a bone folder, pulled it up against the ruler to get some fake deckled edges. Then, um, here I just grab a Posca pen and I'm putting in some, um, very loose, uh, abstract trees, I guess we'll call them. Um, <clears throat> again, no, really no plan here, just, uh, playing, just warming up, seeing if I can put some marks on paper. Um, here it kind of went off the rails again, no plan or anything, but I thought, oh, okay, I'll just put some sort of whimsical creature in here and, um, ended up in the end, not really liking him. Uh, he threw the project way off where I had to put it aside for a while and figure out what I didn't like. But anyway, just, um, you know, again, putting in some marks here. I'm, I put a, uh, a door behind him, like maybe it was his home or a cave. Uh, put some stacked stone out there, some rocks in front of the doorway. Um, and just, just making marks, literally just making marks. So now we're going to go ahead and start gluing some things down. And I went and got a stack of jelly papers. Going to start pulling some um, neutral colors out of there and just gluing some things down. I'm using my glue stick. Um, you know, no muss, no fuss. Easy, fast. Um, and, and what I'm going to try to do here is just vary the size, vary the shape. I have a few different values. <clears throat> a few different values that uh, I'm putting together there, but uh, I really want to vary the size and the shape, the placement. I, I have, again, no plan, just doesn't really matter. Um, some of them are going to have a solid color edge, you know, where I rip it one way, and if I rip it the other way, it, of course, gives you a white edge. And so just mixing those up, a few straight edge, but most of them are torn, and um, just literally putting... Um, you know, gluing down shapes and uh, seeing if I can come up with anything that um, starts to happen on on the paper. So some over and under, try to build a little bit of depth there. Um, and, and really, that's just kind of it, gluing things down and playing with paper. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is throw some neutral paint on here. And again, I don't have any plan. I just... Um, thought I'd get some neutral colors that might go with the colors I had put down um, in my jelly paper. And so uh, put a sky in there, really not even varying the value much. Um, add a little bit of darker, I think that's just a, um, a new, I don't know, neutral gray. I think it might be Payne's gray, although it doesn't look blue enough to be Payne's gray. But anyway, just a neutral color. Um, the gray that I, I, I mix with that low, you know, low value or low chroma um, yellow that's on there. And um, now I'm going to put a little background behind my dude, um, see if he can pop out a little bit. Um, you know, just literally putting putting a little bit of paint down, grab the, the brown again, throw some tree trunks in there, a few branches. And um, really, that's that's just about it. I think I come back here in just a second, and we might add some color to the trees. Um, but painting, you know, just freeform painting some um, shapes in there. Okay, as I have some other things drying, I thought I would revisit this thing. Uh, this thing has been parked for <laughs> two or three weeks, and um, sometimes that happens when I lose interest in a piece. Um, or just don't like a piece. And so I thought I'd figure out what I don't like about this. And it's very simple for me. I don't like this guy. All right. I put him in there just as I started. Uh, no idea where the piece was going. But um, yeah, I don't like him. So I'm just going to move on. And I think we'll just paste right on over him.
Oops, I don't like that straight edge. Gonna rip that off of there. Somehow missed that. I mean, all the rest of them are, you know, not straight. So, anyway, our goal is to cover this dude up. Some little bright pieces. I think I'll put one little bright piece in here. And I don't need to cover up all of the ink. That's okay. So I'm going to be using some ink in other places. So that's not really an issue. It could be, but I think it's fine. Okay, interesting. I think I'll do a little paint and then I'm gonna coat it. That way everything is, make sure everything is down. And uh, so I'll paint just a little bit first, coat it, then we'll fold it. Okay, I just took um, a little white, a little, um, I think that's cad red and then a little magenta and um, I mixed them it, for whatever reason my camera didn't record about a 10 minute stretch in here where I painted those trees but um, you can see how loose the paint is on the palette there I just I wanted more of a glaze and so I just used water um, mix those paints together and, and literally just glaze the top of those trees. Now I'm just going back with more dry brush, more of a dry brush and uh, adding, you know, whatever these are, some, some blobs, they could be fruit, they could be leaves or whatever. And so that's it. Okay, I think I'm just going to do some marker on this. Um, I don't have any of my good markers and so I'm just going to use a sharpie and um, I know I'll have to be careful on this because it will probably want to um, they'll probably want to you know to smear and spread but I'm just going to play here put some lines in and then I'll let it dry and then I'll come back and cover things up a bit I wish I had one of my good pens here, but I do not. I just want to get this taken care of. Okay, again, just going to use my Sharpie here. Um, literally just mark making, wanted to get some of my hand in there. No rhyme or reason, outlining some shapes, just making some funky lines. Um, you know, to try to give it some maybe more cohesiveness, some unity, which of course is a design element, um, unity that is. So um, anyway, that's that's all I'm doing here. It's just putting together some uh, black marks, you know, to try to help it get uh, all together. Okay, I don't have my bone folder, so we're just going to use a spoon. And what I'm going to do is just flip this guy over. Whoops. Flip it over. Fold it in half. Now I have not sealed this yet. I'm going to just let that Sharpie rest for a little while. Then just bring this one in and fold it. This really does work better with a bone folder, but it's all good. OK, 
Okay. And there you have it. We can finish the back of it. You can put a cover and a back cover if you want, or you can just leave it. I think what I'm going to do is just probably put some gel medium on this and call it good. But anyway, way to use some scrap paper. Have a good day.